Okay, this is movie number three, and uh, this is uh, the final continuation of the last page here of the directions regarding the um, electromagnetic testing, etc. For those people that need to know the stuff before spending 400 bucks on an electronic stethoscope. The video after this will finally get into this guy here. So video one was the unboxing of this beautiful guy and a quick introduction to the, the, the stuff inside the box and the menu system. Video two was the directions. And video three is this one here, which finishes up, finishes up the directions. And video four would be this guy here. So video three. Recommended separation distances between portable and mobile RF communications equipment with a 3M3100 series electronic stethoscope. The Model 3100 is intended for use in an electromagnetic environment, which is good, in which radiated RF disturbances are controlled, which is like any place you're at, unless you're at a nuclear um, facility, which RF is going to be everywhere, or if you're at a radio frequency test facility where they test new technologies for radio frequency broadcasting, then this might not work too well. Um, the customer or the user can help prevent electromagnetic interference by maintaining a minimal distance between portable and mobile RF communications equipment, such as transmitters and the Model 3100 as recommended below, according to the maximum output of the communications equipment. Um, let's see. So if the power transmitter next to you is putting out in a wattage of 0 0.01, then the separation distance depends on the frequency that the transmitter is generating. The, the generator, the frequency generation can be 150 kilohertz to 80 kilohertz, which you have this row, 80, 80 megahertz to 800 megahertz, which is this row, and then 800 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz, which is this row. Now, um, we can summarize this with distances so that the average person can use this in average situations. Let's see, the average distance seems to be, um, if, you are, if you are near a, a um, 2.5 gigahertz broadcaster like a uh, wireless router in your house or a company, or near a, a cordless phone base station, you want to be, let's see, it says the maximum number on this graph here will be two or three meters away, which is six to nine feet away. So stay away, so keep about two or three meters away from a wireless router or the wireless, maybe receivers in the ceiling on a cardiac floor. I don't know if they transmit or not, because they're primarily receiving signals from the cardiac packs that are on the client's, the client's chest, sending the, the uh, heart monitoring information. Also, cordless phone base stations. You guys are always running around at the hospital with a cordless phone in your pocket. So um, the cordless phone's okay, if it's in your pocket, in your pants, or in your jacket when you're using stethoscope, it should be an okay distance. Um, but if you're next to the base station that you charge it on, that has a little antenna sticking out of it, or sometimes the antenna's inside, so be careful. Um, so maybe you don't know that's a, um, a transmission station. Try to keep um, two or three meters away from it. Any other equipment, any other equipment like your cell phone, etc. Your cell phone um, looks like you don't need to be too far away. Just keep your cell phone in your pocket, your pants pocket, when you're using your stethoscope so it doesn't interfere with this. Again, interference rarely ever happens. Even if it does, you probably wouldn't notice it happens. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, but some of us would like to know this stuff. Oh, um, the serial number is not only on the side of the unit here printed, looks like it's laser engraved, but it's also in the memory, in the menu of the LCD screen here, which I covered in a previous uh, 
video. So that so that's the end of this video, that, and that's the end of this big multilingual directions manual. The next video will cover, finally, the uh, electronic 3100 series Litman stethoscope.